the moment, the video that y'all have been waiting for. The moment, the video that y'all have been waiting for. So if we guys into so into this video, right? You know what I'm saying? Before we start the video, you guys are wondering how that Afro beat started. You know what I'm saying? Today I'm actually gonna get into basic topics. You know what I'm saying? How the Afro beat start. But before we hop into this video, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn my post notifications on, man. And yeah, let's finally get into this video. So how the Afro beat started? You know what I'm saying? That's the question that y'all been asking me. That's the question that y'all been getting. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys don't know. I did a lot of African playlists, you know what I'm saying? I did a couple of them, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys didn't see them on my main channel, you know what I'm saying? Go watch them, you know what I'm saying? Because I did play them, you know what I'm saying? I have a bunch of videos. I have a whole... I did a whole playlist, you know what I'm saying? I did a whole playlist. So today, how did Afrobeat start it? So today, Afrobeat started, right? It started off in Africa, you know what I'm saying? Then I went around the world. But if you guys don't know what these are, you know what I'm saying? If you guys Google Afrobeat, you know what I'm saying? You guys probably seen most of these already, you know what I'm saying? So how the Afrobeat started, right? It started off in Africa, right? It started off from Nigeria to Ghana, you know what I'm saying? Then it went to the world, you know what I'm saying? Everybody started doing the dance. Um, if you guys don't know that one song, you know what I'm saying? Jerusalem. I'll play right now so you guys can see. But back to the topic, you know what I'm saying? So Afrobeats was a popular genre, right? Since, you know, since, you know, it became popular. It's been popular. I also shout out to Afrobeats, you know what I'm saying? Because it became popular. Because back in the day, African music was not like how it used to be. Because back in the day, music like this, it wasn't like this. Like, Congo music, you know what I'm saying, used to be the shit back then. Like, Congo music used to be the shit back then. Like, everybody used to play that shit. Everybody used to play that. You know what I'm saying? Like, when, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? I used to listen to African music all the time. You know what I'm saying? Um, You know, I used to listen to Kofi Olomide. If you guys don't know what that is, I'll pop it up up here. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you up right here. There's a picture. You know what I'm saying? I'll just pop it up up here right, so you guys can see. Get a little details, you know what I'm saying? But into but the way Afrobeat started, it went off to New York. It went off to yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me tell you one thing why they copied the African accent, the king of Africa. Africa. No, heart of Africa. Alright, so back to what I was saying before. Afrobeats was a popular genre since, you know, it became popular. And it's always been popular, you know what I'm saying? Because ever since it started, right? Since 2018, I believe, everybody was on that. You know what I'm saying? That's how, you know, it became popular. It went to front row. It went to China. It went to India. It went to Jamaica. It went to New York. If it was here in New Jersey, it would be lit. It went all around the UK, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's a lot of popular states and places, you know what I'm saying? Even continents too, you know what I'm saying? Not just states, but continents too, you know what I'm saying? So that's how it became popular, you feel me? 
Like, every single black person was African before it was anything else. Like, as us, right? Because as we're black, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because we were black, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we was African before we was anything else. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, that's how, you know, it started. You know what I'm saying? If that answers your questions, you know what I'm saying? Um, but going back to what I was saying before, Afro Beach was a popular genre because everybody was on that. For me, everybody was listening to it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was, you know, popping to it. Because that's the music. You know, that gets you right. You know what I'm saying? That gets you popping. It gets you popping. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not wrong, but you know what I'm saying? But I just want to come in here and explain to y'all, you know what I'm saying? I wish I could give you more details. You know what I'm saying? It went to South Africa. It went to Kenya. You know what I'm saying? It did a place in Africa. You know what I'm saying? That's where it went to. You feel me? Um, It went to, you know what I'm saying, Miami. You know what I'm saying? It probably went everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Afrobeats is only the popular genre that I know, you feel me? Because everybody, because right now it's trying right now, because everybody's listening to it, such as dancehall, you know, such as reggae, reggaeton, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to reggaeton, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to dancehall, you know what I'm saying? Such as hip-hop and R&B. Hey, shout out to hip-hop and R&B, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the most popular genre, too. You know what I'm saying? Such as what I, Afrobeats, like I just said. You know what I'm saying? I was going to play the dance, you know what I'm saying? I was going to dance with it, you know what I'm saying? The genre, right? Became popular all around the world, such as Ghana, Nigeria, Zambia, Kenya, South Africa, Congo, you know what I'm saying? All around the world, such as Afro Jew, you know what I'm saying? Afro Jew started out in Ghana, you know what I'm saying? They went to Zambia, they went to Nigeria, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Like, every single black person was African before we became, before we was anything else, before there were anything else, you know what I'm saying? Even me, too, you know what I'm saying? I'm black, too, so don't forget that, you feel me? Um, you know what I'm saying? If you guys know, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know, you feel me? You guys know you know you feel me, but that's going to be it for today's video. I hope that answered your questions. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn my post notifications on, man. And yeah, remember, be your boy, Freddy. So, I'm going to catch you on this video. Peace. Oh, shit. Right. So, how did Afro Beats start? So, why do they call it Afro Beats? You know what I'm saying? The reason why they call it Afro Beats, you know what I'm saying? Because I was watching this Afro dance, you know what I'm saying, that I was doing, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, they should name it Afro Beats, you know what I'm saying? So that's how, you know, it came popular, you know what I'm saying, since 2018. <clears throat> since 2018, you know, this genre became popular since 2018, bro. Back then, there was no Afro Beats, you know what I'm saying? So that was popular, you know what I'm saying? So now everybody started doing it, you know what I'm saying? Why did they name it Afro Beats? Why do they call it Afro Beats? The reason why they call it Afro Beats, you know what I'm saying? Afro Beats cannot be any, it could be anything, you know what I'm saying? It could be Nigeria, it could be Ghana, it could be South Africa, it could be West Africa, it could be Liberia, it could be Nigeria, Ghana, Nigeria, it could be Ghana, it could be, you know what I'm saying? It could be Liberia, you know what I'm saying? It could be South Africa, it could be, you know what I'm saying? It could be West Africa, you know what I'm saying? It could be Kenya, you know what I'm saying? It could be Zambia, it could be anything, you know what I'm saying? That's why they name it Afro Beats. So all this information you're getting, you know what I'm saying, you guys are asking this, you know what I'm saying, it's important for y'all to know. You know what I'm saying, if you guys don't want to listen to what I have to say, then click off. But I suggest you watch this, you know what I'm saying, because it is helpful. You know what I'm saying? So what is Samba? You people ask me what Samba is. If you don't know what Samba is, it suggests you go shy. As you guys know, I did Samba, you know what I'm saying, before I started this video. You know what I'm saying? If you guys know what that is, you know what I'm saying? It's how they say it in Bemba, and that's how we speak in Zambia, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, in Zambia, you know what I'm saying? They just don't speak English, you know what I'm saying? They speak Bemba, you know what I'm saying? So, if you guys know what Samba is, it means go take a bath. It means go shower. It means go take a bath. So, I Samba this night, this evening, before I started this video. Okay. So, now, that, that is the end of the video, you know what I'm saying? Hope that answers your questions. I hope you guys get any information that you did from this video. Oh, right, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like Comment, subscribe, turn my post notification on, man. Yeah, if you're afraid to find the third, I'm gonna catch you on this video. Peace.